In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can expand the ranking radius of a local SEO client in the Maps Pack. There are a number of things that play into Google's local ranking algorithm. Uh, two of the main things, though, are going to be proximity and competition. So proximity meaning where is that person searching from in relation to where the businesses are ranking. This depends on industries, too, because if I'm looking for a coffee shop in Miami, I, as a user in a searcher, am going to want to see coffee shops that are as close to me as possible, right? I don't want to see one that's in plantation 45 minutes away. It's just too far, right? Now, if I'm looking for a plastic surgeon or a lawyer or a landscaping company, the proximity isn't necessarily as important. I still want to see one that's in my general location, but I'm going to be willing to see something a little bit further. And that's the difference between service areas. So, so service area businesses are going to be things like landscapers, plastic surgeons, attorneys, dentists, right? They're going to serve areas because they can, you know, you don't have to necessarily go into that coffee shop and just the intent behind that search versus something that has a service location. Maybe you need the customer has to go in there to actually get that service. And again, depending on the intent behind that, like a plastic surgeon, you could argue has a service location, but just the nature of that service as a searcher, I'm gonna be willing to see something on a much larger radius than again, if I'm looking for like a flower shop or a cafe or a bakery, I want something as close to me as possible. When it comes to expanding your ranking radius, there's not a whole lot that you can do when it comes to proximity because you are at the mercy of where people are searching and what they're searching for specifically. And on top of that, the competition, right? I'm in Miami. The competition for attorneys here for personal injuries, you shake a tree and 50 of them fall out. I right here around where I am. That, and that's a factor in terms of what is gonna show up in that maps pack. For us, if I'm in Boise, Idaho, you know, that ranking radius could go from 0 0.05 miles to 10 miles, 15 miles because of just the density of the competition in that area. So those are two things that are completely outside of your control. Now, if you do want to expand the ranking radius, there's something that we're recommending for our clients, which is opening a new service location. Again, if you're a coffee shop or a cafe, it's outside of your control. You know, like focus on the local SEO process, get as many reviews as possible, get mentioned in local press, and naturally your ranking radius is gonna increase just because of the authority of your profile is gonna keep expanding. There's also some things in terms of like click the rates and you know, getting more traffic and eyeballs to your profile and then, you know, having actions taking place on that. The jury's still out if that still works. We've done a lot of testing with click the rate manipulation and honestly, like the results are a little bit muddied. I think if you actually get real people to do it works, but I haven't really found software that can do it. If you do know of some software that can do like good CTR manipulation of maps, comment below, I'd love to check it out. But what we're doing with a lot of our attorney clients is we're having them open a new location, a new office in areas of the state that we want to target, right? So for example, uh, let's say we're working with a injury attorney, a car accident attorney here in Miami. Attorneys, the way that it works, are barred. They're licensed to service the entire state of Florida. Just the nature of that business too is that they don't necessarily have to be in Jacksonville to service a client from Jacksonville because post COVID, so much of everything has just moved online, virtual consultations. People don't necessarily want to go in anymore. Now that might vary in different practice areas of law. If you're doing like estate planning, you know, working with an older clientele, maybe they still want to go into your office. So this might not apply. But essentially what we're doing is for our injury and accident clients and other legal clients as well, is we're understanding who their target client is. So injury and accident clients, for example, are usually coming from the 50% lower income demographic. We're doing research on the entire state. We're looking at where are the lower areas of income across the state in more densely populated areas, right? So population density plus 50% lower income demographics are the two things that we're looking for. And then once we have identified those across the state, then we're overlaying on how many competitors are in that area and how many reviews that they have. So what we're doing is we're building these maps to show our attorney clients different parts of the state that they can open an office in and then essentially drop a pin in there and start ranking there. And this also applies to across the city. So like Miami, for example, is very, very densely populated, uh, but it's also very big. And there's pockets of the city, Coral Gables, Brickell, Miami Beach, Hollywood. There's all different areas of the city that are all densely populated that it would probably be valuable for them to have offices there. So we're helping them get actual commercial leases. For those of you who want to ask, PO boxes, we haven't had any success with Regis offices, stuff like that. There's some like hacks you can do, but to me, when you're servicing clients, you wanna make sure that it sticks because they're gonna invest in your services on top of that. And you don't wanna have that Google profile get ejected. So make sure that it's a real commercial space that you can sign and then bang, <laughs> you're now in that market. So that's how we are expanding our ranking radius. Now, again, I understand that that might only apply to businesses like attorneys. What if you are a landscaper? Well, 
landscapers too, what you have to do is you have to understand what their true service area is. You have to sit down with a client and say, okay, you're in Miami, but like, how far are you willing to drive in order to service clients? If they're like, okay, we're willing to drive the 25 miles, then you draw a 25 mile radius around where they currently are, and you can look for locations in those areas to drop a pin, right? Plastic surgeons might be the same thing, right? Like they have to come in in person to do that, but you can probably figure out what the radius is in terms of where your client's coming from. Sit down and say, where are your clients, where do they live? Can we draw a map of where your clients live across the state? Because with plastic surgeons, a lot of them come from across the state, a lot of them come from out of state, right? If it's a good enough doctor and you do good enough service, then you're gonna draw people from all over the place because like I said, people are gonna be willing to drive further for that service. The point is, is that you have to understand, number one is who the business is, right? Because Ed, there's nuances to this. It's it, coffee shops and cafes are gonna be different than lawyers and, and landscaping businesses. They just are because of the nature of the search and what people are looking for. So you have to understand inherently who's searching and how they're searching. Again, just to recap, there is no definitive way to really increase the radius. We get asked this all the time, right? Because you look at these rank tracking software and it's usually like a nine by nine grid, because that's usually kind of like the default, especially, you know, just across the country, the, the default ranking radius that most of these softwares pull up. Again, though, depending on the density and the proximity of where those searches are coming from, you might not even be able to crack the nine by nine radius, let alone expanding past that. So. There's really no way if you just have one location in that space to really definitively give you an answer on how to expand past that. We get asked that all the time. Now, aside from opening offices, so number one, opening new offices and new metros, two, buying ads, right? So like we're doing a lot more paid search ads, we're doing a lot more LSA ads to test different parts because if we can find a pocket of profitability in different parts of the state, then we can drop an office there too. And again, this works really well with businesses like attorneys and plastic surgeons where people are gonna be willing or not necessarily even knowing that they're coming from different parts of the state to work in that city. You know, another thing that you can do is, this doesn't show up in the map pack, but it's making sure that you're building the appropriate city pages on the website, because you can rank those city pages in the SERPs. Now, you know, if you've seen any of my content over the last year, I've really poo-pooed on the, the impact of that, because honestly, very few people are actually scrolling down past LSAs, past ads, past maps to get down to those city location pages. So that's still kind of a, an SEO strategy that we recommend, but it's not gonna produce the amount of leads and phone calls that it's gonna to take to move the needle. The best things for me are one, opening a new office location or a service area, if possible, two, buying ads. Like all of you SEOs who've been watching my content, I am telling you, I'm screaming at you, like you have to start integrating ads into your, into your practice because the impact of SEO is down. It's just down. Like people aren't getting return anymore. The demand for our services is down and ads are really the best way to supplement that because people are gonna pay you to drive results. They're not paying you for keyword rankings or content. They're paying you for more customers, whether that's leads, sales, whatever that is. So it's your job to figure out how to impact that adding ads into your service or you know having strategies like this to get them into new markets are critical for your long-term success. As always, if you have questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to go back and forth with you because I love going back and forth with you SEOs here on YouTube. Um, also, if you have that CTR software, I would love to take a look at it because it's something we've been trying to test more and more. Uh, if not, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.